And we begin with that breaking news from California, the active shooter emergency at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, one of Silicon Valley's most high profile companies. Police cars responding to 911 calls from inside. Neighboring buildings outside also put on lockdown. Multiple agencies responding to the scene. Heavily armed SWAT teams going in. Agents securing the scene, allowing people to come out, but with their hands in the air. And tonight we know the shooter was a woman. She's now dead and four others are injured. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gutman starts us off. Shots fired during the lunch hour at the Video Colossus YouTube. The upturned chairs, the bullet casings, and the police emergency calls. Active shooter at 9 Cherry. Now tragically familiar, but not this, a female suspect. So confirming she is the suspect? Okay, that's what we were told. We did locate a victim with a, with a uh, what we believe to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It's a female, uh, but the investigation is still ongoing. Law enforcement sources say the shooting appears to be the result of a domestic situation and that the suspect is 35 to 40 years old and has no apparent connection to YouTube. This is crazy. We're on lockdown. The first call came in at 1246 local time. Two minutes later, police arrive. They're in formation as they move up that staircase. Inside YouTube, employees witnessing the violence. One product manager writing on Twitter, I looked down and saw drips of blood on the floor and stairs. Upon arrival, officers encountered numerous employees fleeing from the building. That was very chaotic, as you can imagine. Police moving forward, finding hundreds of YouTube employees, their hands raised. SWAT teams advancing, clearing the building and searching employees. We are clearing the building and searching the building in a slow, methodical manner. Victims taking refuge in a local bar. They said, yes, it was a shooting, so I told them to come inside for safety. And there was three of them, actually. One was bleeding in the face. One was shot in the foot. Inside the Carl's Jr. in San Bruno. This man tended to one of the wounded at a nearby business. It's a gunshot wound, uh, so I put like a tourniquet on her to try to help her. The ambulance came and then uh, they took her away, put a real tourniquet on her. Hospitals and police reporting at least four victims have been hospitalized. And Matt Gutman joins us now. What do we know about the victim's condition right now? Tom, three people remain hospitalized tonight at San Francisco General. One of them is a man in critical condition. The other two are women, one of them in serious condition. Now, law enforcement sources tell us that terrorism was likely not the cause here, rather an interpersonal relationship gone very bad. They say that that female shooter died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Tom. Matt Gutman leading us off with that breaking news. Matt, thank you. And ABC's Zachary Keish is there on the scene at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, where there are new developments. Zachary, good evening. Tom, still an active situation here in San Bruno. You see the fire ladders just behind me, and then that awning, that's the YouTube headquarters. When all this went down, a lot of employees ran out of there and went to the Carl's Jr. That's where at least one injured woman ended up, but they didn't just stop there. See, this is a business district over here. One business owner tells us a woman came in with a bullet lodged in her shoe. Another person came in with blood all over their face. Tom? Zachary Keish for us tonight. Zachary, thank you. Much about the YouTube shooting following a common pattern, the shots ringing out, the lockdown, the massive police response. But what was different this time? The suspected shooter was a woman. ABC's chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, on what we're learning about her tonight. Good evening, Pierre. Tom, good evening. You're exactly right. It's rare to hear women being involved in this type of mass shooting. The Secret Service just released a study which examined 28 mass attacks from last year. All were carried out by males. While such incidents are rare, they do happen. The San Bernardino attack of a couple years ago, also in California, involved a female shooter working in concert with her husband. But tonight, an intensive investigation is underway to look into her background. Authorities, including the FBI, will be trying to identify family, friends, and associates for every available detail. And the ATF will soon be tracing that gun, and that may produce some additional leads. But it's very early in this investigation, Tom. Those are the two big questions tonight. All right, Pierre, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.